What's up, Litru? It's your girl Shirley, and I'm back with another video. But before I get started with that, I definitely want to say thank you. That's right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for continuing to support this channel. Thank you for the likes, the comments, the shares, all the above. I hope my fan is not loud because I do have it going. Um, but definitely thank you guys for just supporting and just doing everything that you do. Subscribing, turning on the notification bell so you know when I release a new video. Just all that. Okay. And today I want to talk to you guys why black history is so important to me. Black history is so important to me because it makes a difference who you look up to. When you can see people who look like yourself, no matter if you're light, dark, like, it don't matter to me. Like, other people who look like me, you know, modeling and the president and the vice president and teachers and lawyers and doctors like all those things are very inspirational you know the scientists and you know all those different areas of life because growing up i remember receiving my first black doll it was a cabbage patch doll it was a bald head cabbage patch doll boy who burnt and i just loved like i loved that doll so much okay and i remember just looking around because you do it unknowingly like look around to see different people and it's like, okay, well, I can do this job because somebody's in this job. I can do that job, you know, because early on, for me, it was like, you didn't see many, you know, people who look like myself in different areas. And as I've grown up, I've got to learn so much more about black history, my history. And I think that's why I love black history so much for real because it's my history history it's my culture that I'm embracing because it's a difference when you are a dark skinned black female dark skinned black male. like it's it's a difference in being dark skinned and black like so I'm just like grateful that we do get to celebrate you know this month because it reminds you of everything your ancestors have gone through and just how far we have come as a culture you know as a culture it doesn't matter what other culture you're mixed with it doesn't matter like if you're light dark medium black it doesn't matter it's just great to see how far we have come and to see us being represented in different areas you know what i mean and it's not to knock anybody else and anybody else's culture because I like to see other people's culture. I like to see where they come from and where they are now. Because it's our differences is what make the world so beautiful. We can have our different culture and different histories. But we can still come together as one. As one serve the same God. As one make this world a better place. As one deal with the different prejudice and you know what I'm saying racism and stuff that we may have in us that we may not even know because some things are just placed in you even from childhood like I can think of different conversations and things I've had with people throughout my life and it's like it was always a difference well that's something a white person do you don't do that because you're black oh you're not black enough so so it's like what is black you know what i mean like that's the real thing what is black because black is beyond you know the way that you talk is beyond the way that you look like it's a part of your culture you see you see who you are in dance you see who you are in your hair texture in your skin the things you eat the taste of your food like it's just so much when you say what is black black cannot be just defined by the color of my skin black cannot be just defined by the way that i speak the clothes i wear like it's so much bigger than that and so when you see the different types of careers and people out there it help you to embrace who you are as a black person in general who are you you know because you get to see those who are into hip-hop you get to see those who are into business you get to see the different aspects and neither make you better or less than the other because guess what we're all one all one culture and i love that and i love to learn about 
the history the jamaican history the african history you know all of it the caribbean because all those different things are part of all of us because it's part of all of our journeys and you know i don't know for me that's why i like to celebrate black history because it's just to show me it showed me and it showed us in general just how far we've come from being segregated in schools to now being presidents of the united states and vice presidents of the united states you know what i mean once where we couldn't sit in certain places on the bus now we can sit in certain places and even on buses and planes and different things like that so is powerful when you look at just how far we have come so that's why black history is important because it helped me to embrace myself my history my brother and my sister who may not even look like me but you still you're still part of me because we are one this is our culture and i love it that you don't have to look the same to be the same a part of the same culture just like when you talk about faith when you're talking about faith like every christian does not look the same we don't praise god the same we don't all have the same gift we all don't show our love the same like it's different so we have to learn to embrace that an individual because i feel like once you can embrace yourself because it took me, you know, 20 something years to get to the point where I can embrace and accept me, my total self, enjoy my hair texture, enjoy the color of my skin, enjoy all my flaws, the thickness, like all of me. It took a minute, it took some years before I could embrace that because for real, what I was seeing portrayed out in the world was like skinny. You know what I'm saying? You're not pretty unless you're skinny. You're not pretty unless your hair flows like this or that. But in the last several years, we have seen blackness come to the table with, you know, curly hair. Come to the table with dress and so many other things. You've seen people that look like you. Whippy Goldberg, like, I love her. You know, just for standing out and being who she is. Queen Latifah. Um... Alicia Keys, you know, just so many different people that you get to see in the world and they embrace who they are, you know, Kiki, like I love, you know, Kiki and just all those different people when I look at them and, and oh my gosh, like just so many people, like I love to show blackish, mixish, you know, all those different things because it all shows the culture that we embrace. So, um, Y'all, yeah, that's why I love, you know, that's truly is why I love this month because they help you to see all that. That you may not think about it all the time, but this time of the year, it's kind of like pushed in front of you. And it's something that you should discuss at the dinner table for real because I know a lot of my history that I've learned in regards to my family, in regards to the world, have come from dinner tables, dinner tables at my uncle's house, you know, and I am grateful for those conversations, even when it comes to talking about school, the different and going to college in a regular college or going to a HBCU college. Like it's all those things help you to embrace who you are. And when you can embrace and accept who you are, you can embrace and accept other people. That's the thing. You can embrace and accept other people when you can realize who you are and be confident in who you are. You're good, you're bad all the above okay and i just i just love that we can see the change from there even with music you know gospel music man like the history of gospel music gospel music went from oh negro hymns and things that led us to freedom you know what I'm saying it was through the songs that we became free so through that and in the worshiping of god you know to from that walking and you making music with your hands and your feet and and whatever you can find like the washboard and going on into now you have drummers you have people who play different instruments you got gospel rap go-go gospel um reggae gospel you got so many types of gospel and it's just like you seeing all that transpire you know 
even when you look at the artist, the gospel artist that's here today, you see a mixture. Like, her, frankly, he brought a mixture into the mix. And you see a lot of that, as you see today, um, gospel artists. So, when you think about all that, all that is our history. They don't have to be a part of your family to be your history. Because guess what? They're still part of our culture. Period. Okay? Period. It's a oneness. So... Yeah, guys, so that's why I cherish this this month because it helped us to be in remembrance of everything that we've gone through, how far we're, we've come, and where we're going, okay, and where we are going. So it's a beautiful thing for me, and I truly just thank God. I thank God for it because I, I can see God all throughout it, through the music. I can see God through the freedom. I can see God just through it all and um if you have an accepted jesus christ as your lord and savior i want to give you the opportunity to do so the way that you do this is you confess with your mouth that jesus is lord and you believe in your heart that god has raised him from the dead and guess what you are saved and as i always say please don't just get saved get saved and connected connected to a church where you can grow in your understanding of who god the father is who god the son is and who god the holy spirit who dwells within each and every last one of us as christians as people who have a subject jesus christ as our lord and savior because guess what when you the comforter the holy spirit guess what the Holy Spirit, he's our comforter, he's our helper, and he is the Spirit of God. He is the Spirit of God that resides in each and every last one of us, that helps us to make the right decision. Help us. I say help us because at the end of the day, we still have free will, so we can make a choice, you know, and so... Yeah, but he is wonderful. I thank God for the Holy Spirit because he's definitely helped me a lot over the years, especially when I got to that point where I could submit to God and and just walk in obedience to what the Holy Spirit was telling me to do, even when I didn't want to do it, okay? And I'm not going to tell no story. It's still a process because sometimes I still fall short and don't, don't obey and, and reap the consequences or, you know deal with things i shouldn't have to deal with but for real it'd be my choices just like your choices have you know what i'm saying consequences so do mine whether good bad whatever okay and um if you're on here and you just want to rededicate your life to christ i definitely want to give you the opportunity to do that and the way that you do that is you just say lord please forgive me for whatever your form may be repent say god i'm sorry turn away from it and if it's something god is telling you to do please do it that's it I guys I love you and look forward to talking to you guys again soon please enjoy your week and don't forget to show the love of Christ to everybody okay I guys this your girl Shirley I'm out